Back in 1990, one of the most exciting tours of the decade kicked off. Headlined by metal band Slayer and Megadeth, the tour was called The Clash of the Titans. The first iteration of the track also saw Testament and the suicidal tendencies on the bill. And while fans may have loved the lineup, there was tension brewing behind the scenes between some of the bands. Stay tuned to find out the full story. The tour took place across Europe for three weeks with the bands Slayer, Megadeth, Testament, and The Suicidal Tendencies, promoting their then-current albums including Rust in Peace, Seasons in the Abyss, Souls of Black, and Lights, Camera, Revolution, respectively. There appeared to be tension between Megadeth leader Dave Mustaine and Mike Muir, vocalist for The Suicidal Tendencies. It was alleged that Mustaine apparently wasn't happy about Muir's band being on the bill and tried to have them thrown off the tour. According to Mustaine in the book Louder Than Hell, The Oral History of Metal, the feud started when the four frontmen were supposed to appear together for a magazine photo shoot, but Muir was unable to make it. Apparently Mustaine made some disparaging remarks about Muir for being a no-show, and it got back to the Tendencies camp. Mike Clark, guitarist for the Tendencies, in the same book would reveal that Mustaine also started to badmouth the band in the press, claiming that the tendencies were, and I quote, unprofessional, not good enough, and did not deserve to play the Clash of the Titans tour, and that Mike couldn't sing claiming he sings like a frog. And Mustaine, for his part, initially was confronted by Muir and denied the allegations, but eventually confessed to badmouthing the band, claiming that his substance abuse issues were to blame. And things only escalated as both Mustaine and Muir would be interviewed in Sounds magazine, and express their displeasure and frustration with one another. Mustaine's issue with Muir seemed more having to do with how his band was treated on the tour, telling the magazine, it's more like Clash of the Tightwads. We've been screwed over lights, staging, effects, even meals for our roadies. There's one guy involved with one of the bands, I can't say who, but we'd all like to take him outside, put a blanket over his head and beat the F out of him. Things got crazy to the point that Muir challenged Mustaine to a fight on stage during the tour, and in the same interview, Mustaine responded to the threat of a fight saying, I like the suicidal tendencies, but if Mike Muir is trying to intimidate me, he's pretty stupid. Who cares? Mike Muir wants a fight on stage, but I'm not in the business to be a kickboxer. It doesn't matter. If he starts something, I might not win, but I won't lose, he'd say. And Muir would respond in the same article saying, we sell more t-shirts, he's from the old school and we're from the new school. That seems to worry him, but so what? I told him to his face that I'm ready and waiting if he wants to end the argument with his fists. I would be more than happy at Wembley to let's effin' throw up a boxing match, you know. He's a kickboxer, I'm a street fighter. We'll throw on some gloves, that'll make it fair. We'll box it out right on the stage. There's a lot of people who'd like to see Dave Mustaine get his butt kicked, because Lord knows Mike Muir ain't going down, he'd say. And in a separate interview, Muir would also take jabs at Mustaine's addictions, claiming that the Megadeth leader lived at the Betty Ford Clinic. But by 1992, the feud appeared to be over as Megadeth took the tendencies out on tour during the time they were promoting their Countdown to Extinction record, and they've toured several times since. And in 2009, Mustaine was interviewed by Metal Insider and addressed the feud, claiming, Muir wanted to fight me. I had to go up to him and say, look, dude, if we're going to fight, let's fight after the tour like gentlemen. Fortunately for me, he respected that because he was a big guy and he probably would have stamped me pretty good. I doubt that I would have lost. I don't know that anybody doesn't lose. When you get into a fight, there's never a winner. And the thing is I totally respect Mike, always have. But we had a difference, it was so bad. The problem was that I said something and it was taken out of context by a journalist, he'd say. So let me know your guys' thoughts on the feud down below and let me know which future topics you'd like to see me cover as well. Take care, guys.